Hello everybody, this is Dragonheart and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have an online battle for Total War Rome 2 and my opponent is called Dark Assassins with a Z on the end, I believe, and um, as you can see I'm just going through the movement speed for my controls. The reason for this was because I recently made a machinima video on my channel and I decided to take all the the flags and the mouse cursor and all that stuff down and reduced so I could actually get a good machinima video made. I actually forgot to put the flags back on in this battle as you can see. But anyway back to the battle and I am fighting as the Roman faction and the build that I'm using is basically a build that I'm trying to personalize and use in a tournament that is coming up soon. That is the Rubicon casual tournament and you probably would have seen a video on my channel advertising that particular battle. Uh, not battle, tournament. <laughs> Fail already. Anyway, um, that is a tournament which is for casual players that are interested in playing Rome 2 and people like myself who are not um, active players on the multiplayer scene and don't participate in you know, the mainstream kind of tournaments like the SCAN tournament. But back to the battle, and as you can see my opponent Dark Assassin, he is playing as the Seleucid faction and he is camped on the hill. He has some Silver Shield Swordmen, he has some shield bearers, camel archers, some more swordsmen, but he has stayed on the hill, camping on the hill, which, which to be fair, you know, it's not a bad, it's not a bad tactic, if you if you've got the right units, if you've got plenty of uh, missile troops, some good spearmen, then perhaps it's a good, it's a good uh, tactic. But in this battle, I tried to exploit this. Because if you're sitting on the hill, you're not moving, and if you're not moving, you're not taking any sort of advantage. That's the way I see it personally. I may be right, I may be wrong. If you think I'm right or wrong, let me know in the comment section below. But anyway, so I bring all my my legionaries forward, I bring my missile troops forward. I have some Praetorians as well. I also have a unit of elephants and I have some cavalry, so I've gone for a mixture with the Romans. I've actually gone to try and hide some cavalry in the brush to the far right of the screen. Hoping that the my opponent will attack. And here we are, we zoom right in now. Have a look at the war elephants. Hello war elephant. <laughs> How do you do today sir? I must be be um, honest, I don't actually like fighting without the flags on, I do get a bit confused. It doesn't quite uh, have the same appeal to me. It's good for machinimas and for for kind of intro videos and stuff like that, but but when it comes to online battles, it, when there's, when, especially when there's a big kind of cluster of of units, it can be quite difficult to tell who who is who and what not. But eventually I do, not in this battle, but in a future battle I do actually change that. So. So don't worry, it's not always going to be like this. So I've brought my archers, my missile troops, and my archers forward. Not quite in range at the moment, so I do bring them forward a bit more. And I actually bring them now to attack the silver shield bearers. Bring my cavalry forward, my Praetorian cavalry, and he's still on the hill. He still hasn't moved. He has some Syrian heavy archers as well, so I have to be. Be wary of them. Slinger. Have my slingers. Bring them forward. And I have to say this because I don't think I've mentioned it in previous videos. But I actually like commentating afterwards on a battle. Like I'm doing right now. Simply because if I make mistakes in the battle. I'm able to actually view them. And comment on them for you guys. Whereas if I was recording this live. I probably wouldn't be saying an awful lot. Because I'd be concentrating on actually winning the battle and fighting the battle and I'd probably make even more mistakes but if I do make mistakes in in battles which I have done in the past I can actually look back at them like this with you guys and say oh I should have done that or oh I should have done this so it does I do find it quite handy to to use as you can see my missile troops are now firing upon the enemy he's brought his camel archers forward he has 80 of them all together so I got all my slingers and my missile troops attacking them. I'm also bringing my gladiators forward to attack them. He's starting to move down the down the hill slowly. And 
Lions, Camel Archers decimated. Look at that, 11 out of 80 left. And they're gone, straight away. First blood to me. Bringing my gladiators forward to attack his Silver Shield Swordsman. Just bringing everything forward up the right flank now. His left flank and my right flank uh, don't mix well together. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. He hasn't got much on his left flank, whereas I've got quite a lot of units. So I want to use them to the best, of, use this advantage to the best of my ability and throw everything in and try to break his left flank, which I'm doing at the moment. Slowly decimating his unit there. Try to reform some of my missile troops as well. I've thrown the elephants in as well. Just thrown everything in now as he slowly comes down the mountain. I admire this tactic here to try and uh, attack me on multiple fronts, but it would have been better if he'd thrown more units in, so rather than throwing one and two at me like he is at the moment, actually bring in... Uh, if he committed most of his units, then it probably would have worked in his favour, because on the hill he actually has cataphracts. Now you can imagine what a cataphract's charge down the mountain can do against the Romans, so that's something that personally I would have done. Uh, but then again, I could have made the mistake and, <laughs> and lost the battle, so... Um, you know, it depends who you are and, and what your tactics are, but... As you can see, I'm winning now on the floor. On the I call it the floor, that's the kind of bottom of the mountain, which I'll call the floor. I haven't even committed my Praetorians yet. Just compete. Just I've only just compete. Yeah, I can't even get my words out today. What is wrong with me? <laughs> um, I've committed my legionaries, but I haven't committed my Praetorians. So I have four fresh Praetorian units right at the back of my line. Sending the carv the cavalry. <laughs> Sending the cavalry in, and I use Draco, or the cavalry as I call it. <laughs> and my slingers. I'm also going to bring them forward. He's bringing his chariots down. which could could cause me problems so I have to be weary. I quickly tried to get into Testudo but it might just be too late so I decided to bring the elephants in as well send him up the left flank to help out bring all my slingers forward sort the grouping out because I haven't really sorted the grouping out properly there we go that's a lot better four nice squares in an organized line to try and attack and the elephants are charging in now he has 12 scythe chariots there and this is where you see the uh, the strength of the war elephants in this game because he has 12 scythe chariots there now and in a few moments you'll see how many he has left after this elephant charge down to two straight away <laughs> just like that elephant charge down to two and in the top corner you can see where it says hello where it says how are you <laughs> and yeah he was common he was writing to me in this battle as i was fight in this battle but I fought him straight after this battle which you will see in a future video actually I fought him on a couple of occasions so you'll see those videos soon on my channel so I hope you enjoy them uh, Dark Assassins also wrote to me and says he sucks in this battle <laughs> uh, no comment um, <laughs> and yeah we are doing quite well in this battle we the little yellow cursor in the bottom in the bottom left corner you can see the, the yellow Oh God, I can't get my words out today. What is wrong with me? You know what I mean. The yellow and the red markers showing the strength of the battle. It's in my favour. The cavalry I bring to the right flank. Bring my missile troops up. Put precision shot on. Also put in the quick reload using the right click. By using the right click you can see the reload button hovers into a kind of blue colour. What that means is that it automatically reloads. So a simple right click will do it, in case you guys didn't know that. So I bring all my, my missile troops forward now. He's retreating back up the mountain. But as you can see you've got Hellenic cataphracts and heavy archers. Median cavalry, shield bearers, silver shield swordsmen. He has some good units up there which which weren't committed so far in this battle and it's given me the advantage because I, I have a full strength army I don't think I've lost a unit yet I've only really lost you uh, men in the legionary units and one of my gladi gladiator units so all my archers my elephants my general my cavalry most of my cavalry and my praetorians are all full strength 
that was a mouthful right there <laughs> and we bring the war elephants up now as well I'm just trying to outflank him just trying to spread his units a little bit bring the cavalry forward bring everything to the foot of the mountain now trying to get a reaction out of him which we'll see in a second because he has Syrian heavy archers which are starting to fire on my gladiators so I quickly bring them back because they're cu currently taking some fire but by doing that he alerted me to where his Syrian archers were so I was able to react to this and bring up, up all my skirmishers onto his uh, heavy archer unit Syrian archers so I can attack them now with all my my thing and Wurs says to come back again saying hello <laughs> hello Wurs says you are the special guest of this video but don't worry you will star in the next video <laughs> oops spoiler alert <laughs> I'm having fun watching this battle and Syrian heavy archers are retreating now all my missile troops are being brought forward a little bit of a lag there it does happen sometimes when I record so I do apologize for that it's not much I can do until we get better optimization and some more tweak into the game which I'm sure Creative Assembly will do uh, in the coming months hopefully if not then we we'll probably we we'll probably all rage against them but oh well <laughs> but yeah Syrian archers are attacking me so I bring everything forward now he's charging down the mountain with the cataphracts it's a good idea but is it too late I got too many units now perhaps for for it to have its effect so I just charge them all in and here this is where the blobbing starts and this is where I lose track of where all my units are because I haven't got the flags on so it's a fail by me a little bit of a lag there again unfortunately I'm just going to chuck everything in I can see that his archers are reasonably undefended so I just quickly get my cavalry to go into the center where there's no units get a pathway through to the Syrian heavy archers concentrate my missile fire on the, the units at the top of the hill while I engage the units at the bottom of the hill so I'm putting some of the buffs on as well rapid advance and some of the other buffs has quite a lot of shield bearers in this uh, in this battle and the elephants doing a good job for me only lost two of them so far must have racked up a lot of kills and look at that that's a massive massive blob there I can't tell who is who <laughs> I actually have to zoom in with the mouse hover over to see who's who's uh, winning how many units are left how many men are left in the units I should say and we're doing quite a lot of damage now the battles in our favor turn Draco on on my two cavalry units just to give them a bit of a morale buff and my general I haven't been brought into the battle yet I've left him at the back of the map completely forgot about him <laughs> so I bring him forward now elephants charging in just sending everything into them now just do a massive blob and yeah as you can see the battle's going very well getting plenty of kills um, it's quite hard to keep track without the flags on to be honest with you it's, um, if ever you organize a if scan for instance do another tournament I hope to god that they keep the flags on because it's a very hard way to to battle like this and to actually spectate like I'm doing right now on this uh, on this replay it's quite difficult to distinguish which unit is which I'm trying to remember from muscle memory at the moment but yeah um, we're chasing him down the mountain with the with the war elephants where you can see them at the moment I'm bringing the general right up as well to reinforce I also use intimidate as I run past them as they route as the enemy routes he still has some uh, sword bearer swordsman shield, silver shield swordsman I should say bring all the cavalry in to attack at the top of the mountain and I gotta be honest they look like giant ants don't they Look like ants running around the battlefield and I am the queen ant <laughs> um, I swear to god I haven't been drinking today 
it's only uh, nine o'clock. Yeah, it's only nine o'clock. I haven't been drinking. And a little bit of a zoom in action there for you guys. Don't get a chance to zoom in often in online battles. I tend to save most of that for my campaigns. And also, thank you very much for your kind comments. I've had quite a lot of nice comments on my channel lately saying that I've improved as a commentator, which <laughs> thankfully that's a, a good thing because um, as long as I can keep improving, providing videos that you guys enjoy, then that's the main thing. And it's very, very nice to see comments on my channel saying that you think I've improved, that you enjoy my content and that you've subscribed. So, you know, thank you very much. I've had quite a few comments like that lately. Uh, it really does mean an awful lot to me. And I'm actually now bringing the cavalry out from the little skirmish behind the behind the hill. And I'm going to engage them with everything now. As you can see, the battle is almost over. So I'm going to end the battle there. Hope you've all enjoyed. I'm going to leave you with the ending screen. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.